What's up, guys? We got more wrestling otaku nonsense to talk about. Now, over the years, wrestling otaku has been compared to Chris Chan quite a lot. And they do have a lot of similarities. They're both overweight. They're both disheveled. They both smell really bad. They're both into very, very childish hobbies. They both like to rant autistically at a camera about what they think the rules for life should be. And they're both a virgin with rage. Now, unlike Chris Chan, Wrestling Otaku is still a virgin. And also, unlike Chris Chan, Wrestling Otaku will not admit to anyone that he is a virgin. But if you go back and look at any of his videos where he talks about women or sex, you can plainly see that this is a virgin male talking and he has never had sex in his entire life. But all you have to do is accurately point out that he is a virgin and he will go crazy. He will rage out, he will try to strike at your channels, he will, he will tell you a, a list of names of women that he had sex with that are totally real so you have to believe him so stop calling him a virgin. But the fact of the matter is the man is clearly a virgin at 34 years old and he hates it and it makes him mad. And really, that's where his deep-seated hatred of women comes from. The fact is, is he feels like he was owed sex and never given it and that's why he hates women. He really hates the fact that he is an adult virgin and it makes him mad and makes him rage out and hate women. So, basically being an adult virgin and an incel who hates women, he sealed his own fate to be a virgin for the rest of his life because, thank God, his grandmother is already dead and he can't do the thing that Chris Chan did to wind up in jail, which he definitely would have done because he is a virgin with rage. So, wrestling otaku, I hope you sort your shit out. I hope you stop being a woman-hating idiot, and maybe someone will feel bad enough for you to actually give you a piece. But probably not ever. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.